I just wanted to show everyone this pegboard that I did. I got this idea from um, a DIY tutorial on YouTube, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, it, so it saved a lot of space. It was a great idea. Um, so I just wound up the yarn, the loose yarn that I had, in all the storage bins, and this is what I have. It cost me probably forty dollars total. Um, you have to cut the little these little these little pegs down. You buy those spindles at at Lowe's um, or Home Depot, and then cut them into I think she said five inch sticks, um, and that's what I did. I just I just made these little, I cut them into little binders, little uh, sticks, and I, they just poke right in there. And then I bought a a, wine, a yarn winder, because I didn't have one. And so I got one of those, and it made these great little cakes. Um, it's a great deal. It was 13 bucks for the winder, and then each panel, each one of these panels, these peg panels, costs like $6. Um, and then she shows you how to put it all up on the wall and everything. And it was a really good video, and I liked it. I just thought I'd show you how it turned out, and then I think you should try it.